a storm is What else do you need to know? I can't walk around okay. with a keg of beer on my back. Come closer. He doesn't look very reassuring. Tony. Sorry, were you calling me? Are you Donnie? My name's Skinny. <sighs> they told me the guy was a bit mad, but now I've had enough. I know it's none of my business, but can I ask why you're looking for him? <sighs> Are you Donnie? I already told you my name's Skinny. Then mind your own business. How can you be such a bastard? I can do anything I want, and so can you. Can you tell me what you keep saying? Nonsense I need to say to learn that crazy Donny. He seems to love a good public rambling. Try using a mousetrap. You're not funny. Who said I'm trying to be? It's really fun around here. I think it's deadly boring. With extremely loud music, people dancing or getting hammered with beer. Jeez. Very original, huh? What else is there to do around here, then? I personally prefer quieter places. If I were you, I'd go to Roswell Pond or the beach. I even saw a complete lunatic who said he invented a time machine. Do you believe in time travel? Um, I wouldn't know. I've never thought about it. It seems like nonsense to me. Why are you wearing that stupid bunny suit? Why are you wearing that stupid skeleton suit? Actually, I'm... <sighs> Forget it. See you later, Playboy Bunny. See you later, Lindsay Lohan. That is when the world will end. A storm is coming. Someone must have reached dangerous levels of delusion here. I'm here. Come. Come closer. Luckily, my legs still work. Courtesy of Don Vito Corleone. If I weren't an expert on special effects, I'd swear it was real. Peter Jackson's got nothing on you. when the world will end. Cut it out. One cut wasn't enough for you? Touche. I'm here. Come. Come closer. He must have a very bad case of photophobia. Good evening, how's it going? My name's Skinny. At last. Welcome, please. Come, sit. I suppose you haven't noticed there's only one chair, right? You see, you may have spent the last few years of your life looking for me, but I have spent my entire life looking for you. Actually, we just met. Not that I have any objections, but I don't think you'd be my type anyway. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. I thank you, decline your offer, and move on. What happened to your eyes? Nothing. I know why you're here, Skinny. I know what you've been doing. I know because I was once looking for the same thing. Mirror lenses, rimless sunglasses, limited edition. Why are you reciting the Trinity lines? The answer is out there, Skinny. They're incredibly cool. I don't see you having much fun. Do you really want to know why? Yes, I would like that very much. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Come on, cut it out and tell me. I forgot my pill. Pill? My blue pill. Ah. You should really try to relax a bit, if I may. Do you believe in fate, Skinny? Here we go again. No, I don't. Answering was something relevant for a change? Why don't you believe in fate, Skinny? I don't like the idea of being born just to be killed by a plum. And right at the beginning of puberty, by the way, without even having time to... experiment, so to speak. What are you doing around here? It's not important. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. 
that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind driving you mad. Please, go pick up some girl like all the normal people. You'll see, you won't think about it anymore. I can't. Oh, right, the thing with the blue pill again. Now I've really got to go, before I go mad as well. And we'll be screwed if at least one of us doesn't remain sane around here, right? 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. Am I wrong, or is he the alien that got lost? Look at Grandpa. I'm here. Come. Come closer. Congratulations! Great music! I don't think he can hear me. 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. This is the sort of unexpected surprise that suddenly earns Christianity <laughs> points in my eyes. I have nothing so important to ask to interrupt him. After all, I stopped believing in him a long time ago. I didn't know he was a Sauron adept as well. It's strange Tolkien never mentioned him in any of his books. I prefer to let him focus on his beer pong. <laughs> Did you know birds can't taste spicy foods? A little focus moment. I love chili pepper. It's a pity my taste buds can't stand the heat. Um, if I still had them, I mean. It's been slung directly into the oven. Eventually you end up like sweet and sour pork. A historical video gaming relic. Literally. Even if my social life isn't as active as before, I don't think I should squander it completely. I hope it wasn't delivered in this condition. Putting a bunch of worms in my body is not among the best ideas you've ever had. Why no unforgettable night ever started with I was going to eat a salad when... Now I remember why I hated going to the fair. The fishing rod is clearly rigged. Watch the ceiling fan. Don't have too much fun up there, old pal. Actually, with that costume, he looks more like a bellhop. Hey, kid. Try your luck at the mechanical fish ride. Playing is simple. You must reel in any of the fish in the tank. Nothing easier, right? <laughs> now I remember why I hated going to the fair. The fishing rod is clearly... I remembered her different. First of all, dead. I remind you that the single time she spoke, she burned up an entire lab. Still sure you want to talk to her? He's lucky that alcohol induces sleep. Never wake a Mexican guy from his siesta. Never. The last person I saw at the bottom of a bottle like this was Ronald's father during Christmas dinner with all the relatives. <laughs> Egon, tell him about the Twinkie. It's gone. It fell into the tea while I was dipping it. I mean the big one. That's classified information. You know that. You should really stop drinking for the night. Before all this caffeine pushes me beyond the capacity for rational thought, too. <laughs> that hair would turn even Amy Winehouse pale. Why do you drink all that tea? 
I only sleep 14 minutes a day, which leaves me a lot of time to work. If I still had salivary glands, I would need a bucket right now. I don't think those two would be particularly enthusiastic about it. <laughs> That's it? Check this out. We have guests. Let me welcome you to my little gloomy abode. For you, author of this video game, from now on you can count on my unconditional hate. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, believe me. <laughs> The best way to arouse a hipster. Boogie, let's hypothetically accept that I get closer to the shadow. Yes? Well, should... should I be afraid for my safety? Not at all. I will gladly take care of your soul. <laughs> Thanks for reassuring me. Who doesn't know Master Chief? And no, I'm not talking about the cooking talent show. Not worth it. The Russians are coming! Uh, sorry, that was another video game. A faithful reproduction of the rebellion flag in Metal Slug. I can't stand this. Too many memories. Absolutely not. Among us nerds, there's a code of honor. I prefer to have a moment of silence, in memory of your brain. It's so grim and wonderful that I could stay here staring at it for hours. What does the label say? A, B, normal? I finally found something to give you for your next birthday. Come closer. I um, I just remembered, I have an urgent meeting to attend. I have to go. Twenty eight days, six hours, forty two. You know those wool things that go on one's head to Be shelter quiet, it from the cold? My will hear us. Perfect. Cuddle me, hot stuff. Rock. I've picked up enough hair. Rock. I love when you do that thing to me. Genetically programmed to undermine your reputation. Cracker. Mm. Cracker. Come on, stupid bird, repeat it. Cracker! Mm. You brainless moron biped, my intellectual capacities are way superior to yours. What? What did you say? What? Mm. Cracker! Hurry! In the closet! Rawr. He must have suffered Rawr. a really Be bad quiet, accident. Or my husband will hear us! Are you talking about the picture or the truck that obviously ran over his face? Okay, that was way too harsh, I admit it. He doesn't look particularly good. I don't want my sweater stained by puke, thanks. I love when you do that thing to me. Express Courier, 24 hours, 7 days a week. 0, 0, 8, 4, 5, 8, 9, 0, 1. All packages must be impact-proof, water-repellent, and the contents must be clearly indicated outside the box. Hmm. I could pack up the wardrobe and ship myself to Ronald's new house. Rocco's Hotline, 80-69-69. Hot, naughty, courteous. Cave Johnson's Shower Curtains, 206-002-456.
I hope at least these are not a lie. <clears throat> Young storm people today are completely hopeless. Damn hipsters. Listen to me. I will never put junk like this in my ribcage. Cuddle me, hot stuff! Don't go boasting about your junk size. You've all got the same cod piece. I love when you do that thing to me. I may have removed the tie from the doorknob, but the fact of the matter doesn't change. Hurry! In the closet! Damn, I'm out again. Can I come in? Go away! Ronald gets mad when I knock on the door while he's why? in the bath, too. Well, I don't know why everyone got so crabby. Mm. Cuddle me, hot stuff! Rock? Jelly Rock by Aaron Wispley, mm. a huge 1957 hit that sold more than 9 million copies. Rock? I'm definitely not a military forces expert. My knowledge stops at Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. You've seen too many Lupin the Third episodes. What nice sharp fangs! Would you be so kind not to eat me? The best interplanetary delivery man. He even seems less sleepy than usual. He was waiting for the Half-Life 3 release. Right in the feels. Listen, friend, in this video game, there isn't room for two skeletons. Don't say a word or I'll make you regret being dead, okay? Good boy. Guitar solos with P strums. The perfect way to release the indestructible inner boy. These are the moments I resent not having a bladder anymore. Stop asking me to pick up unnecessary things. Hello, McFly. Anybody home? I may have removed the tie from the doorknob, but the fact of the matter doesn't change. Be quiet, or my husband will hear us. Hey, two. Do you know what's round, soft, and juicy? A tomato? No, stupid. A nice child. How many times have I got to tell you? I'm done eating children. I'm a fruitarian now. And what the hell does that mean? I only feed on fruit, and just the ones that fall from trees to the ground. You won't last more than a week. You'll see. You're really the black sheep of our family. Ah, love. Captured forever in undying memory. At least until they cut down the tree. So many possible spoilers, I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't want any LV from you. I'm an acid guy. They undoubtedly get along very well. It's best not to get involved in Dude, certain private business. Sad. Actually, I get your life choice perfectly. Really? I eat only children, too. Just the ones that fall into my mouth. Now I understand what the media meant when they predicted an alleged alien invasion back in the 80s. I would have exterminated whole hordes of you to shoot down your 300-point spaceship. When I was young, I had one of those. I always kept it under the pillow to defend myself from the bad monsters.
He's undoubtedly the life of the party. Do you want to hear some news that will make you happy? I'm drinking juice. Guess what flavor it is, Do? Grapefruit? Child. Uh, can I have some of that, too? <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you. Sometimes these professional apple eaters get too caught up in the competition. Next player, please. I'm tired of this one. Nobody wants to talk to you. The scientist must have seen too many Doctor Who episodes. That blood does not bode well at all. Is this your time machine? Yes, but it is still an experimental prototype. The usual excuse is to say it doesn't work. It'll work. Just watch and see. And finally, everybody will stop saying that I'm just a c -c crazy stutterer anemic guy. But you're not anemic. That's what I c keep saying myself. What are those blood stains you have on you? Oh, not a big deal. A little accident while I was working on a d d different project. How many did you kill till now? <laughs> 